so my dear students we were discussing about the star delta connection now star portion we have completed now we are concentrating on the delta here a1 a2 this will be c2 c1 and this will be your b2 b1 so that means a1 is connected to c2 c1 is connected to b2 and b1 is connected to a2 then delta connection will be over in b phase we have connected a emitter a1 to measure the phase current of b phase a2 emitter we have connected in c phase to measure the phase current of c phase and line current entering the b and c phase joint that is measured by a3 emitter so in this case this total entered current is getting divided into two parts that's why definitely the a3 reading will not be equal to a2 and a1 reading remaining this portions connection is remaining same this voltmeter is measuring the line voltage between a phase and c phase and this voltmeter is measuring the phase voltage here you can understand that this is one phase so if i connect a voltmeter here that voltmeter and this voltmeter reading will be same that means in delta connection what we should get that phase voltage should be equal to line voltage now let us see the setup same setup available here here we have the three phase barrier you can see yesterday in, in the star connection we have used it same connection of the three phase watt meter we are not changing it only these are the three phase three loads of for three phases from previously it was connected in star now we have connected in delta that's all so what was the sequence a1 will be connected to b2 and similarly b1 will be connected to c2 and that's all and similarly c2 will be a let us see what is required in this case a a1 should be connected to c2 so a1 you see is connected to c2 a1 is connected to c2 then what we require the, your c1 should be connected to b2 let us see c1 is connected to c1 should be connected to b2 let us see c1 will be connected through emitter to b2 so from c1 it is going to emitter a2 from emitter a2 it is coming to where you see b2 so c1 is connected to b2 then b1 will get go to emitter 1 then you can see the b1 has gone to emitter 1 this is going to emitter 1 from emitter it will go to from emitter it will go to a2 from emitter it is going to a2. that is the delta connection this a3 emitter should be line connected so from l2 from l this should come to from l you can see here from l it should come to a3 emitter you see and from there it is going to where it will go to the joint of b2 so it is going to the junction of b2. this voltmeter is connected this voltmeter is connected between which two terminal between two phases you can see two phases between r phase and y phase so r phase and y phase so this is voltmeter line voltage it is measuring phase voltage is being measured by this one so this is connected to b2 and this is connected to b1 b1 and b2 you see this voltmeter is connected between b1 and b2 b1 and b2 phase voltage line voltage line current phase current phase current now i am switching on the supply power supply
So I will increase the voltage now. So you can see the line current is 0.6 ampere. This current is crossing 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.34 ampere, and this is also 0 0.3, 0 0.32, 0 0.34 ampere. His current. Now line voltage. You see 51 volt. 51 volt. This is almost also 51 volt. So, highest voltage and line voltages are equal in this case. <coughs> so, in delta connected load, 50 percent. So, this is 51 volt, 51 volt, line current 0 0.6 ampere, phase current 0 0.34 ampere. Now we will have to find out this ratio. We will have to find out the watt meter reading also. Let us see the watt meter reading. Here the watt meter reading is very negligible. Almost it has completed only one division. One division. Only small division one. So, one small division will be your 10 because you have 20 small division between 0 to 200. So, one small division is 10 watt. In the previous case, we have shown you this is connected to 600 volt. 600 volt currents are in the lower setting. Lower is 2.5 ampere because these are series connected, you see not parallel connected these plates. So, lower current rating 2.5 voltage. So, according to this 2.5, 600 multiplying factor is 2. So, in this case, our power will be, our power will be your 10 watt into 2, that means 20 watt. Now we will change the resistance slightly and we will see what is happening. Voltage we are not changing. So, in this case, we have reduced the resistance. It is 0 0.9, 0 0.92, 0 0.94 ampere line current. Phase current 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 52, 54, 0 0.54 ampere. Here also it is 0 0.54 ampere. So, phase current in this lower resistance, phase currents are now line current is your 0. 9 once more let us see 0 0.94 ampere 0 0.94 ampere phase current is 0 0.54 ampere 54 ampere line voltage phase voltage we have not changed it is remaining 51 volt only what meter reading we have current has increased so definitely the watt meter reading has changed it is in the range of now almost 30 three three small divisions it has covered so three means 30 so 
30 into 2 that means 60 watt 60 watt since what is happening actually what meter reading is increasing very small so let us reduce since our voltage is small let us reduce the voltage still then deflection will be slightly more so it will be easy for us to take the readings okay now since it is connected to 300 volt and 2.5 ampere so multiplying factor is 1 so whatever is the reading of this watt meter that will be final now we are changing the resistance once more and reducing the current and changing the load positions In this case, the current is line current is 0.4, then 0.5 between 0.5 and 0.52. So, 0.51 ampere we can write, and his current is your 0.3 ampere. You can see both the cases. So, we will write. 0.3 ampere and line current is 0 0.51 ampere voltages will remain same you see almost same 51 voltage will be watt meter reading now multiplying factor is 1, let us see, it is 3 small divisions it has covered, that means 30 watt. Now whatever calculations we require to find out the power factor and calculated power that we will do in the class itself when we will discuss this one. This is our reading and again you can look, you can make a broad, uh, what you can say, you can make a broad overview of your experimental setup here. So again I am telling you, these are the three phase load, these are the, this is line voltmeter, phase voltmeter, but this is not same for always. Based on your connection, you can make it. This is also line. This is phase. According to our present connection, this is line voltmeter. This is phase voltmeter. Here I have made this one a three line emitter. These two phase emitter. You could make these two also. Any one of three you can make as line emitter. Remaining you can make phase emitter. Just only you require the connection. This is the three phase wattmeter. So. That's all about the experiment. Number 6, you can see E plus 5106 test of C phase started with the load connection. Now calculation is remaining left. So that we will have to see. Is it okay, my dear? Thank you very much.